So you guys who are out there dating single mothers, you may be ordered to pay child support. Now, I'm not telling you what to do. A lot of people get mad when I say don't date single mothers. So I'm not going to say it right now. But if Let me say it for you then. Let me say it for you. Gents, do not date single mothers. Okay, there you go. A lot of us make the big mistake of assuming that women are sugar and spice and everything nice and they can do no wrong. And I'm telling you, they're human beings just like you, fellas. They're no better or no worse. Anything you would do, a woman would do also. Lie, steal, cheat. Stop assuming the best of women. Assume instead that they're human beings. We are equal. We're equal in our humanity. Stop being suckers. Stop being simps. Be smart. You hook up with some woman. You're trying to be a nice guy. Next thing you know, you're getting hauled off in, 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 in family court and getting in, 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 in order to pay child support for, for a kid that everybody knows is not yours. Hi guys, we are back for second part. Uh, we are gonna look at the same one. We're gonna continue that same video because I wanted to react to at least most of it, if not all of it. I think we just saw about half of it. Uh, not really, not even close. So, without further ado, let's go. The fact that they would put something like this out there, this is just intriguing. This court, this court. Oh, um, if you had watched the first video, this is where we stop. So we are continuing the first video, in a sense. Stated that given its recognition, that a person who is not the biological father of a child may be considered a parent against his will and is uh, consequently burdened with the responsibility of the support for the child, such a person in being treated as a parent may also seek the rights of custody or parenting time. This is a case that they've already analyzed. This is a Michigan case. This is this is this is already on the books in Michigan. So if you're up there in Detroit, they already have a case on the books that says uh, they've already considered that they it's it's this court has already recognized that a person who is not the biological father of a child may be considered a parent against his will. They've already recognized that in Michigan. So when people tell you it's not coming, that's not true. And if they recognize it in Michigan, they'll recognize it in the states, Illinois, all those Midwest states, Ohio, right? And it'll work its way down to different parts of the country. And I'm telling you, there are women out there who are thinking about this. A, a lot of us make the big mistake of assuming that women are sugar and spice and everything nice and they can do no wrong. And I'm telling you, they're human beings just like you, fellas. They're no better or no worse. Anything you would do, a woman would do also. Lie, steal, cheat. Stop assuming the best of women. Assume instead that they're human beings. We are equal. We're equal in our humanity. Stop being suckers. Stop being simps. Be smart. You hook up with some woman, you're trying to be a nice guy. Next thing you know, you're getting hauled off in, 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 in family court and getting in, 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 in order to pay child support for, for a kid that everybody knows is not yours. And this is not just a black thing. This is a, a man thing. You white guys, you Hispanic guys, this can happen to you too. It just so happens that 70% of, of, of African-American women in this country have children outside of wedlock. And many of those women may not have their men on child support. 
So you may be the guy that ends up paying child support. You may present a better option than her child's father. So this this thing is going on mostly in the black within the black people. So maybe I should consider not marrying a black woman. Maybe I should consider a different race, maybe an Hispanic. Hmm. Because if it happens less, then there's more likely a chance I might have a good marriage or a good wife. Because apparently the black people are not as good when it comes to marriage, or at least black women. And you know, one thing I found very interesting actually is this. Um, it's like now, it's actually dawning on me that for some reason, I do like black women, but I find it more difficult to date a black woman than a woman from a different um, color. Uh, I think it was much easier to get a white girl, but you never know what girl she could do as well. The, I think Hispanics are the best ones, uh, based on my experience with um, seeing what's going on. I think they are the best ones because they are less crazy than the whites and they are less independent or the strong independent femi um, femaleist as the black. Um, so maybe I should consider an Hispanic girl. But only God knows because I don't know. As of right now, it's I'm just trying to live and do the best for myself, get myself better. I'm not really thinking of marriage. If I got a girlfriend, then I start thinking of um, fiance later on, and then marriage. But right now, I'm not aiming towards marriage. And I think I could probably um, maybe do it instead with uh, a non-black woman. Maybe that would be a better option because of the problems going on. You, be, you may be one of these black men who just entered into the middle class, 62%. You may be of the 20% of black men who are high value and who have entered into the upper class, rich, elite class. And so you may present a better option than her Pookie and Ray Ray baby daddy. So yeah, she didn't put him on child support because it wasn't worth it. But you, on the other hand, yeah, you present a better option. My man High Def says, what happens to the DNA testing? That doesn't matter. The courts are now saying, if you take on the fatherly role, at least in Michigan, if you take on the fatherly role, it doesn't matter if it's not your father. You can still be deemed the father or financially No DNA test required. Come on, man. He just read it. They don't need to have a DNA test anymore to make you become the father. So no DNA test required. Responsible for that child to the point that you could what? You could even ask for custody, visitation. How crazy is that? And just so you guys know, this is uh. Stankovich v. Milleron, a 2015 case out of uh, the state court, uh, state court of uh, state court of Michigan Court of Appeals, and they're basing this on the Oberville versus Hodges case, which has the same sex man. Look, basically, the rules of family law have been burst wide open because of these same sex marriage cases. People are going to they're going to be rewriting these laws and trying to figure out what's in the bit. Because think about it. If you got two women or two men who have children, clearly both of those people are not the biological parent. But under the new scheme of family law, both of those people, based on what the Supreme Court says in Oberville, 
both of those parents are going to have parental rights. So if that means, I mean, law is not going to be made in a vacuum. So if we are now holding people who are not biologically responsible, openly knowing that people are not biologically responsible, uh, 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 um, related to these children, we're still holding those people responsible. Then that means equitable parent doctrine is probably going to be expanded as they've done in the Michigan case. So you guys who are out there dating single mothers, you may be ordered to pay child support. Now, I'm not telling you what to do. A lot of people get mad when I say don't date single mothers. So I'm not going to say it right now. But if let me say it for you then. Let me say it for you. Gents, do not date single mothers. Okay, there you go. If you guys want to jump in this conversation, man, and let's chop it up. Let's talk about dating the dangers. <laughs> let's talk about let, let, let's talk about the dangers. of dating single mothers. And then I'm going to put, watch your wallet. Watch your wallet. You guys want to come in and talk to me about this conversation, man. Let's come in. Let's have a comment. I'll watch your wallet, folks. Gents, watch your wallet. I want to go over scenarios. I know that 30% of men are already paying for children that aren't there as biological. The cold part about it is a lot of guys don't even know it. But um, here's the situation. He just said, he just said 30% of men are paying for child support that are not even, uh, 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 that, that are paying for child support. And the coldest thing about it is Many of them are paying for child support, and those kids are not even theirs. Think about it. Where you do know it, and you still being held responsible for paying for these children. This is crazy. And see, here's the thing. Guys are like, well, why don't more people know about it? The thing about the practice of law is nothing really moves fast. And... A 2015 case is still relatively new. A 2016 case is still relatively new. It takes about 15 to 20 years for a case to become codified and then just become kind of like the norm. You still got people who have just graduated from college. Uh, they might have got into college in 2016. They just got out of 2019, 2020. They just now. Uh, graduated uh, from college and passed the bar. They might not even have learned that it, unless they're in Michigan. It might have been just a little blurb. It's one of that's one of those cases that the, that the family law professor brings to the class after he prints it up off the internet just because it's an intriguing footnote. But it's not something they would necessarily test on a case. It's not going to be something part and parcel of the curriculum. So you're not it's not going to be well known. Only people who practice law in Michigan who are interested in family law would know. But this is something that's spreading around. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put you guys ahead of the game. When you date single mothers, you take a big risk that you might end up being held financially responsible for that child. And what does that do to you, especially you young guys? You got to you, you dated a woman back when you were 19 for three or four years while you were in college. She had a child at the time. You hung out with her and the child. You helped with the kid and everything. You was hanging out. Maybe you showed up, you know, for a couple of birthdays. And then, you know, you know, you took the kid here. And then next thing you know, three or four years, you know, you've been dating. And you decide you're done with it. And she hits you with some child support papers and says, under the equitable parent doctrine, you're going to get sued, right? If she wants to sue, you're going to get sued. So you're going to have to pay for a lawyer. You're going to have to. Pay for your defense. You're still going to have to pay for it. See, this is the thing. People don't realize you being, it's just like in the criminal court. You can still be charged and be innocent. You got to prove your innocence. You got you to gotta fight the case, go through the jury trial, pay for a lawyer, and prove your innocence. Here's the issue, though. This is what I don't like about those laws. 
the woman doesn't have to prove her thing. All, they, all she has to do is, oh, according to this law. But then for the man, it's as though you're guilty until found innocent. Until found innocent. And that is what why men have to learn this thing. To take precautions because men, we are considered predators. Even though women are more predators than we are. Yes. Um, actually, women, women get approached more by women than by men nowadays. So no, we are not the predators anymore. It's the women. Two, you, because of uh, the patriarchy, um, and the female is me also, uh, one is um, uh, bigotry type of movement, we have all these issues. And they are still being taught in schools. That's why we are still getting deeper into the trench or into the hole because we are being fed poo poo. Yes, we are being fed trash. Yeah. So man, you got to, you gotta be careful. Be careful where you go. Be careful um, where you stick your penis into. Even even then, if you, even if you, even if you don't stick your penis into a woman, be careful where you are hanging out and who you're hanging out with. Because the baby daddy government is out there to hurt you in ways you couldn't actually. Fathom. Let's move on. Let's move you still on. have to go through the litigation process. The stakes at that situation were what? You might go to jail. Now, let's say you 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 get hit with a family a paternity suit to establish child support. Uh, and and your the neighbor, the girl that you used to date for three or four years, who had the child that you know you had that father the relationship with, she said, "Well, that's." It. I know he's not the biological father, but he's the only father that this child knows. So I'm suing him for child support under the equitable parent doctrine. <laughs> and you the fool that fell for it. So you can only knock yourself because you heard what I told you. You heard what I'm telling you. So you get sued, right? And now you like, I can't believe this. I got to, I got to what? What do I have to do? I, I gotta fight. I gotta, I gotta hire a lawyer. I gotta give this lawyer five or six thousand dollars. I gotta retain this lawyer to answer this lawsuit. And then what? And then I, it, it, I'm telling the lawyer, this is not my child. This is not my child. You like, well, it doesn't matter. She said, did you do this? Did you go to the child's birthday? Did you pick the child up from school? Did you spend time with the child? Did you pay for house notes? Blah 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 blah. He was like, yeah, but I'm still not the father. She knew I wasn't. It doesn't matter. We're talking about the equitable parent doctrine. The, the, you, you, you took on the fatherly role. But damn, I'm not the father. Yeah, I know, but you're not, you don't get what I'm saying. This is what your lawyer is going to say. You don't understand what I'm saying. Give me $8,000 and we should be able to beat the case. I don't have $8,000. Well, I don't know what to say. Because that's just going to be a retainer. This might end up costing $25,000, maybe more. We got to do discovery. We got to do a deposition. We got to do all this stuff. You got to pay me. It's the same situation if you try to go to court and represent yourself on a criminal matter and you don't have a lawyer. You're going to get, you're going to get shafted. No different than in a civil case. You get a woman that hits you with a, with a paternity suit saying that he took on the fatherly role, and therefore I want him declared the father of my child and to have to pay what? Child support under the equitable parent doctrine. You got a that's a petition. You got served, you've been sued. Lord, don't make sure you answer because what happens if you don't answer? Then she gets a default judgment. You didn't show up to court, and you still got to pay child support. Because you didn't answer the lawsuit. So you're going to have to hire a lawyer. It's going to cost you money. 
All because what? Because you decided to date a woman with children. You were, you were in the house. You might not even spoke again, but you're in the house. You're paying for meals. You hung out three or four years. She's going to put a fact pattern together that's going to sound good enough to convince some judge. And let's say you lose at trial. Then you got to take an appeal. You can tack another 25, 30,000 on top for that. So you spent 25, 30,000, 75,000 dollars, baby, finding a case that what? To prove that you didn't take on the fatherly role of this child is not yours pursuant to the equitable parent doctrine. It can happen, fellas. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So either way, uh, the link is in the chat room. If you guys want to talk about the dangers of dating single mothers, watch your wallet. Come on in. I would love, love to hear from you guys. I think this is, should be an inspiring conversation. And for those of you all who came in late, these women are thinking about it. All right. I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna stop the video right here for you guys. I'm not gonna go further down. Um, you're gonna see the description, the, the link down in the description below, and I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna finish right here with the whole thing. It's an hour and thirty-seven minutes long. Uh, I'm not gonna and fifty-five seconds. I'm not gonna or fifty-five seconds. And I'm I'm not gonna go that that much. But what I'm gonna say is that. It is, it is a, it is something for you guys to, you know, and myself as well, to understand. We cannot. Uh, we have to practice good judgment. We have to figure out where we go, who comes to our houses, or who comes to our apartments, who we hang out with. Especially, do not hang out with single mothers. And that's one thing I don't do is hanging out with single mothers. I don't. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I don't hang out with single mothers. I don't even want to be around them in the first place. Now I do, I used to, when I was in church, because we were friends, and I didn't know if she were unmarried or not, Later on, I, after I had a relationship, well, I mean, she's like 40 now. And for sure, she, 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 yeah, she's not that kind, because I know her that much. But people that are, people I don't know, a stranger asking me to watch their kids, no, you don't do that. Myself included, I don't do that anymore. Last time was 2018, like I said, or 2019, I think, no, 2018. I don't do that anymore. Actually, I haven't even talked to them. And, uh, yeah, it's, it, it is something you have to understand. It is, the government is doing its best not to be the father anymore of those fatherless children which they have, which the government, the government had um, fueled the women to believe that they can do everything better than a man. They don't need a man. And so when the women go out and divorce their husband, now the government, to, now the government can say, you know what, because you are divorced and the kids have to get food, we're going to put your husband on child support. Now the other men are learning not to do that. And so they are now trying to find a way to get men, to force men to become fathers. Be careful. Or, as you mentioned, it will hurt your wallet. Hi right, guys. That was Mother Michelle. Hope to see you guys again. Well, whew. until then, until then. <laughs> <laughs>